Did you know that the people you surround yourself with can significantly impact your mental and emotional well-being? If you want to lead a fulfilling life and reach your goals, you need to be aware of the negative influences lurking in your relationships. We often underestimate how much our friends, family and acquaintances can shape our outlook on life. In this video, we'll explore 10 types of toxic individuals, like master manipulators and fair-weather friends, that can stunt your growth and drain your energy. By identifying these negative influences, you can protect your happiness and create a more supportive environment. So, if you want to cultivate relationships that empower you rather than hold you back, Stay tuned as we uncover the characteristics of these detrimental personas and how to navigate them. Let's dive in. 1. Identifying negative influences. Have you ever found yourself in a vibrant mood, feeling like the world is full of possibilities? Maybe you just got a promotion, celebrated a birthday, or simply had a wonderful day out with friends, that rush of joy can be intoxicating, right? But then, in the blink of an eye, you bump into someone whose negativity seems to suck the air right out of the room. You know the type, the one who can turn a sunny day into a thunderstorm with just a few words. It's as if their pessimism is contagious, and suddenly that lightness you felt is weighed down by their energy. It's frustrating, isn't it? you start to realize how much the people around you can influence your mood and outlook on life. As we navigate through life, we often forget just how profoundly our environment impacts our emotional well-being. Think back to a time when you were excited about a new venture, perhaps a project at work, a relationship, or even a hobby you were passionate about. Now remember that one person who questioned your enthusiasm or offered unsolicited negativity, dampening your spirits. It's a moment many of us can relate to. The sharp sting of doubt that follows can linger far longer than the fleeting joy of your original excitement. You're not alone in feeling this way. Nostalgia can kick in when we think about the friendships and relationships we've had throughout our lives. Remember those carefree days in school when everything seemed possible? The friends who lifted you up, who made you laugh until your sides hurt? 2. The Negative Thinkers Now let's dig deeper into one of the most common negative influences we encounter, the negative thinkers. These individuals often have a knack for casting a shadow on even the brightest days. Picture this. You walk into a room, excited to share your latest achievement, only to be met with rolling eyes or a dismissive wave of the hand. That's nice, but don't get too carried away, they might say, or worse, that won't last. Their skepticism can feel like a wet blanket, smothering the fire of your enthusiasm. Have you ever felt that twinge of anxiety after interacting with someone who seems perpetually critical? It's almost as if their mindset is a dark cloud that follows them wherever they go. They see the glass as half empty, and it can be exhausting trying to uplift someone who's determined to focus on the negatives. You might find yourself questioning your own happiness after such encounters, wondering if maybe they're right, and that self-doubt creeps in, doesn't it? Nostalgia plays a role here too. Recall the mentors or friends who championed your ideas, who fueled your passion with positivity, they may be a fading memory now, overshadowed by the presence of those who constantly highlight the risks or downsides. It can be a stark reminder of how crucial it is to be selective about who we allow to influence our thoughts and feelings. As you consider this, you might feel a yearning for the supportive voices that helped you believe in your potential. This contrast can spark curiosity about how to effectively deal with negative thinkers. What strategies can you adopt to protect your peace? Can you create boundaries that allow you to interact without being dragged down? These questions may lead you to seek answers, encouraging you to become more mindful of the conversations you engage in and the people you let into your life. 3. 
energy drainers. Now, let's talk about energy drainers. You know the ones, the friends who always seem to need something from you, whether it's emotional support, financial assistance, or just someone to listen to their troubles. These individuals often leave you feeling depleted rather than rejuvenated. Think back to a time when you felt excited to help someone, only to realize that you were the one doing all the heavy lifting in the relationship. You walked away feeling exhausted, questioning if that friendship was worth the energy it demanded. Imagine the initial happiness you feel when helping someone, fueled by the good intentions of your heart. But then, as their requests pile up, can you drive them somewhere? Can you listen to their problems again? That happiness begins to wane. The thrill of being needed can quickly transform into a burden when you realize that their demands are constant and your own needs are getting overlooked. This scenario often resonates with people from various walks of life, whether you're a college student juggling studies and friendships, a parent balancing work and family, or someone simply trying to enjoy life. The energy drainers can feel omnipresent. You might recall moments when you felt guilty for wanting to step back, wishing you could prioritize your well-being without feeling selfish. Nostalgia strikes again when you think about those balanced relationships from your past, where both parties gave and took in equal measure. Maybe you remember friends who inspired you to grow, challenged you to be better, or celebrated your achievements without bringing their baggage along. This makes the presence of energy drainers feel even more pronounced. You might find yourself longing for the simplicity of those genuine connections, where joy flowed freely and the burden of negativity wasn't a constant weight. This reflection can lead you to ponder your current relationships and whether they truly serve your emotional health. How can you reclaim your energy? Are there ways to set boundaries that allow you to maintain your compassion while also preserving your peace? Curiosity may arise about the steps you can take to foster more reciprocal relationships, those that uplift rather than drain. 4. Master Manipulators Have you ever felt like someone in your life had a way of turning every situation to their advantage, almost like they were playing a game where you weren't even aware of the rules? It's a strange feeling. Initially, you may feel flattered or even intrigued by their charm. But as time goes on, you start to realize that their intentions are far from genuine. The allure of their personality can make you feel special, but soon you might find yourself entangled in a web of manipulation where their needs overshadow your own. Think back to a moment when you felt swept off your feet by someone's charisma. Maybe they showered you with compliments, made you feel like the most important person in the room, only to turn around and ask for a favor that felt more like an obligation than a request. That initial warmth can quickly transform into a chill as you recognize their pattern of behavior, flattery often followed by demands. You might remember the disappointment when you realized that your friendship was more about what you could do for them than about mutual support and understanding. Nostalgia creeps in when you think about relationships built on sincerity. Recall those friendships where there was no hidden agenda where support was genuine and without strings attached. It's a stark contrast to the exhausting dance with a master manipulator, leaving you yearning for those authentic connections. You might find yourself reminiscing about times when interactions were straightforward and your emotional energy wasn't constantly being siphoned off. Curiosity arises as you consider the psychology behind manipulation. What drives a person to wield such tactics? Are they aware of the harm they cause? Understanding these questions can help you navigate your interactions more wisely. Perhaps it sparks a desire to learn about setting boundaries, ensuring that your kindness isn't weaponized against you. It's essential to arm yourself with knowledge and strategies to reclaim your emotional landscape, so you're not left wondering how you fell into their trap in the first place. Master manipulators are adept at creating a sense of obligation. They might say, I've done so much for you, can't you do this for me? 
This technique can tug at your heartstrings and lead to feelings of guilt. Over time, you may realize that this dynamic is one-sided. The warmth of their affection seems to come with an invisible price tag. Recognizing a master manipulator often requires keen observation. Are they consistently shifting the blame onto others while deflecting any accountability for their actions? Do they play the victim when faced with confrontation, eliciting sympathy to avoid scrutiny? These red flags can be vital in protecting yourself from further emotional turmoil. Understanding their tactics can illuminate your path to healthier interactions, fostering a sense of empowerment. As you navigate the intricacies of relationships, consider establishing firm boundaries. Communicate your needs clearly and hold fast to them, no matter how charming or persuasive the manipulator may be. It can feel daunting, but each step toward asserting yourself reinforces your sense of self-worth. Remember, your kindness should not come at the cost of your well-being. 5. Chronic Complainers Imagine this. You're in a good mood, excited to tackle your day. Then you encounter a chronic complainer. As they launch into their usual grievances, traffic, work, relationships, it feels like a fog settling in around you, dimming your bright outlook. You listen politely at first, but soon their constant negativity begins to seep into your consciousness, leaving you feeling weighed down. It's like carrying a heavy backpack filled with complaints and frustrations that aren't even your own. You may reflect on moments when you've been around someone who can find a problem in every solution. At first it can be amusing, perhaps even relatable. We all have our struggles after all. But over time, their incessant negativity becomes exhausting. You find yourself wanting to escape the conversation, wishing to reclaim the joyful mood you had before their complaints invaded your space. Nostalgia often emerges when you think about the uplifting relationships that inspire and encourage growth. Consider the friends who light up a room with their laughter, who share in your triumphs and help you navigate your challenges with a positive spin. In contrast, chronic complainers can drain your energy and leave you questioning your own happiness. You might recall times when you felt genuinely supported, craving that feeling of buoyancy again as you navigate the heavy waters of negativity. Curiosity may begin to stir as you ponder the motivations behind chronic complaining. Why do some individuals consistently focus on the negative? Is it a cry for help, a deep-seated fear of change, or perhaps a habit they've developed over the years? Exploring these questions can lead to a better understanding of their behavior, allowing you to navigate the situation with empathy while still protecting your own emotional well-being. When dealing with chronic complainers, it's crucial to maintain your boundaries. Practice active listening, but also recognize when it's time to steer the conversation toward more constructive topics. You might say, I understand that's tough, but what are some things that went well this week? 6. The Blame Game Have you ever been in a situation where someone seemed to thrive on deflecting responsibility? Perhaps you've been part of a team project that went awry, and instead of tackling the issues head-on, one of your colleagues immediately pointed fingers at others, ensuring they took no blame for the outcome. This blame game can be infuriating, turning collaborative efforts into a toxic environment filled with resentment and distrust. Initially, you might feel a rush of indignation, recalling moments when you were unfairly blamed for something that wasn't entirely your fault. The frustration can build until it spills over, leaving you questioning not only the other person's character, but also your own sense of worth. It's disheartening to realize that some individuals would rather point fingers than engage in constructive dialogue. Nostalgia may sweep over you as you think about times when accountability was embraced in your relationships. Remember those moments when everyone took responsibility for their actions, working together to find solutions rather than casting blame. The sense of camaraderie and mutual respect 
can create an atmosphere of growth and support, and contrasting it with the blame game can highlight how essential it is to cultivate such relationships in your life. Curiosity naturally arises as you consider the psychology behind the blame game. What compels someone to deflect responsibility? Is it rooted in insecurity, fear of failure, or a desire to protect their image? By exploring these motivations, you gain insight into their behavior, allowing you to approach the situation with a blend of compassion and assertiveness. Understanding doesn't excuse the behavior, but it can help you navigate your response more effectively. When you find yourself in the crosshairs of someone playing the blame game, it's crucial to assert your perspective calmly and clearly. You might say, I understand that this is frustrating for everyone involved, but let's look at what we can learn from this situation instead of pointing fingers. This shift in focus can diffuse tension redirecting the conversation toward growth rather than conflict. Emphasizing accountability fosters an environment where everyone feels empowered to take responsibility for their actions. Ultimately, this approach not only strengthens relationships, but also promotes personal growth, allowing you to thrive in a collaborative space. 7. Jealous Individuals Picture a moment when you achieved something you had been working tirelessly toward. A promotion, a new relationship, or perhaps a creative accomplishment. The thrill of success is palpable, and you want to share your joy with those around you. But when you tell a certain friend, their smile fades and is quickly replaced by a forced, that's great, followed by a subtle eye roll. Their jealousy, often masked as indifference, can leave you feeling deflated, as if your achievement wasn't worth celebrating at all. Initially, you might feel buoyed by your success, only to be knocked down by the realization that not everyone shares in your joy. Jealous individuals often struggle to celebrate the successes of others, viewing accomplishments as threats rather than sources of inspiration. This emotional roller coaster can be draining, leading to a desire to downplay your achievements to avoid their negative reactions. Nostalgia comes into play when you think about those who genuinely cheer you on. Friends who lift you up and celebrate your milestones as if they were their own. These relationships nurture a sense of belonging and encourage you to reach for even greater heights. The stark contrast with jealous individuals can leave you longing for that supportive environment where success is shared, not envied. As curiosity sets in, you may wonder what fuels jealousy in others. Is it insecurity, fear of failure, or a desire for validation? Exploring these questions allows you to view their behavior through a lens of empathy recognizing that their struggles may stem from their own insecurities rather than a reflection of your worth. Understanding this can help you navigate these relationships with a sense of compassion while also protecting your emotional energy. When faced with jealousy, it's essential to assert your accomplishments confidently. Instead of shrinking away, respond with gratitude for their acknowledgement, reinforcing that you appreciate their support even when it's hard for them to express it. You might say, I know this might be difficult to hear, but I really value our friendship and your support means a lot to me. This approach fosters an environment where jealousy can be acknowledged but doesn't dominate the conversation. Ultimately, by being mindful of your interactions with jealous individuals, you can maintain your sense of self-worth and continue to thrive in your achievements without feeling burdened by their negativity. 8. Gossip Gurus Imagine being part of a group conversation, feeling light-hearted and carefree, when suddenly someone begins to spill the latest gossip about a mutual friend. At first it might seem harmless, an innocent exchange of information, but as the conversation escalates, you notice the tone shift from casual chatter to something more sinister. The laughter fades, 
and you're left wondering if this is how they talk about you when you're not around. The thrill of gossip can be intoxicating, but it often leaves behind a trail of insecurity and mistrust. You might recall moments when you participated in gossip, feeling a sense of belonging as you exchanged stories. However, that initial thrill can quickly morph into discomfort as you realize the impact such conversations can have. It's a toxic cycle. Gossip breeds distrust and anxiety, and the allure of sharing someone else's secrets can ultimately tarnish your own relationships. Nostalgia sets in as you think about friendships built on trust and respect. Remember those conversations where everyone felt safe to share their thoughts without fear of judgment or betrayal. Such environments foster deep connections where vulnerability is met with understanding rather than judgment. The contrast with gossip-filled exchanges can leave you yearning for those authentic relationships that allow you to be your true self without fear of being undermined. Curiosity may arise as you explore the motivations behind gossip. Why do some individuals feel compelled to share others' secrets? Is it a desire for validation, a sense of power, or simply boredom? Understanding these motivations can help you navigate conversations more mindfully, steering clear of toxic discussions that undermine trust. When you find yourself in a gossipy conversation, it's essential to redirect the focus toward positivity. You might say, I'd rather focus on uplifting our friend instead of discussing their struggles. This approach can help to break the cycle of gossip and encourage a more supportive atmosphere where everyone feels valued rather than scrutinized. By fostering an environment of trust and respect, you create a space where gossip has no place. Emphasizing compassion and understanding over speculation allows you to build stronger, more resilient relationships that uplift rather than tear down. 9. Growth Stunters Picture yourself on a journey of personal development, setting goals, pursuing passions and striving for improvement. You feel invigorated, ready to take on the world. But then, you encounter someone who seems intent on pulling you back to where you started. Why do you want to change? You're fine just the way you are, they might say, attempting to stifle your ambition. It can be jarring, leaving you feeling conflicted about your aspirations as their words echo in your mind. Initially, you might feel empowered by your dreams, but the negativity can create a sense of doubt that lingers. Growth stunters often voice concerns cloaked as care, but their words can undermine your confidence. You may find yourself second-guessing your journey, wondering if you're being selfish for wanting more out of life. Nostalgia comes into play when you reflect on those who genuinely support your growth, friends who encourage you to reach for the stars and celebrate your achievements, no matter how small. Think back to the moments when your ambitions were met with enthusiasm, igniting your drive to pursue your dreams. The stark contrast between supportive relationships and those that stifle your growth can leave you longing for that encouragement that propels you forward. Curiosity arises as you consider what motivates growth stunters. Is it their fear of change, insecurity about their own abilities, or a desire to maintain the status quo. Exploring these questions allows you to view their behavior with compassion, understanding that their resistance to growth may stem from their own struggles. This perspective can help you navigate these interactions more effectively while protecting your own aspirations. When faced with growth stunters, it's crucial to reaffirm your commitment to your goals. Share your achievements with pride, and when they respond with negativity, gently remind them of your passion. You might say, I appreciate your concern, but this journey is important to me. I want to see how far I can go. This assertive stance not only reinforces your dedication, but also encourages others to reflect on their own fears about change. 
Ultimately, by surrounding yourself with individuals who uplift and encourage your growth, you create a supportive environment that fosters personal development. Embrace those who champion your aspirations and let go of those who dim your light. 10 Fair Weather Friends Consider a time when life felt like a roller coaster, full of highs and lows, celebrations and challenges. In those moments, you likely sought support from friends, hoping they would be there through thick and thin. But as life unfolded, you may have noticed that some friends only seemed to appear during the good times, disappearing when the going got tough. These fair-weather friends can leave you feeling disillusioned, as their presence feels more conditional than genuine. Initially, their attention during happy moments can feel like a warm embrace. They celebrate your achievements, share in your joy, and appear to be your biggest cheerleaders. But when life throws curveballs, you might find yourself reaching out, only to be met with silence or vague excuses. The contrast between their support during good times and their absence in your struggles can be jarring, leaving you questioning the authenticity of the relationship. Nostalgia often strikes when you think back to friendships that stood the test of time. Remember those individuals who were there for you during your toughest moments, who listened without judgment and offered solace when you needed it most. These genuine connections foster a sense of belonging and security, making the realization that some friends only show up during sunny days all the more painful. Curiosity may arise as you consider why some individuals choose to be fair-weather friends. Is it a fear of vulnerability, a lack of emotional depth, or simply an unwillingness to confront challenges? Understanding these motivations can provide insight into their behavior, allowing you to navigate the friendship with a clearer perspective. When you recognize fair weather friends in your life, it's essential to evaluate the relationship. Consider whether it brings you joy or leaves you feeling unsupported. You might initiate a conversation, expressing your feelings and expectations. I value our friendship but I need to know you'll be there for me during the tough times too. This candid communication can help clarify the nature of your relationship and potentially lead to a deeper connection. Ultimately, embracing friendships built on authenticity and mutual support fosters an environment where you can thrive. By surrounding yourself with individuals who weather life storms with you, you create a network of strength and resilience that uplifts you, no matter what challenges arise. As we wrap up this exploration of negative influences, it's crucial to remember that recognizing these toxic individuals is the first step toward reclaiming your power. By identifying master manipulators, chronic complainers and fair-weather friends, you can take charge of your relationships and foster a supportive environment that encourages your growth. Remember, it's not just about avoiding these people, it's about surrounding yourself with those who uplift and inspire you. If you've found value in this discussion, drop a comment with a hundred to show that you're part of the rare few who are committed to finishing what they start. If you're truly serious about transforming your life, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Together we can build a community that thrives on positivity and personal growth. Let's embark on this journey together.